Broadcasting live. You know what we need to do because we didn't get to it in the last hour. Let's hit the station identification, and then we'll be back in 15 seconds. Back in, back 15, in seconds. 15 seconds. Rich can be. How about some more bees, Mr. Taggart? I'd say you've had enough. In related news, Rich Gerard, the school board member at large, electee, attempted to quash the uproar that resulted from his announcement that he was leaving his ego to the Manchester Historical Society by striking out that bequest from his last will and testament. Viewers remember that, faced with the enormous expense of building a suitable enclosure to house Rich Gerard's ego, Historical Society President John Clayton appealed to the board of mayor and aldermen for a loan. Matters came to a head when Alderman Jim Roy and William Shea, during the special meeting of the board called the deal with the Gatsis resignation crisis, led the move to kill the deal, claiming that the cost of the debt service on the loan would effectively bust the city charter mandated tax gap for the years 2017 to 2022, inclusive. During the special meeting of the board, Alderman Roy was particularly adamant in opposing the loan, saying that the proposed deal stinks. Shea promptly agreed, saying there was a funky aroma about the whole business. In a, ma a magnanimous gesture designed to save the city of Manchester money and preserve the tax gap, Rich Gerard announced today that instead of his ego, he was leaving his testicles to the historical society. John Clayton gladly accepted the bequest of Rich Gerard's testicles to the Queen City, saying that Gerard's gonads could fit snugly into a Wizard of Oz lunch pail formerly owned by Peyton Place authoress and former Manchester resident Grace Metalius. The lunch pail... Tonight we'd love to see John Wayne. That's right, John Wayne's the name. But you can call me Duke for short. Sure. 